Mm. Oh my god! Take a look at that ocean front, baby. We got views on views. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm still here in Santa Barbara with our seafood series, trying some of the hottest seafood restaurants in town. Last week, we checked out Fish House that was located on Santa Barbara's waterfront. But today, we're gonna check out Fish House's sister restaurant called Boat House, located on the beach. Now, if we continue to get closer to the water at this pace, that means the next time that we're gonna be eating is gonna be in the water. Wait, what? Now, if the food at Fish House is any indication of what the food is gonna be like here at the Boat House, well, then you and I are in luck today. As always, before we go inside to go check out this restaurant, please show some love, give me a like, give me a subscribe to help support the channel. You guys ready for more exquisite seafood dining? Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm inside Boat House, and as you would expect, it is gonna be an awesome, awesome episode today. It's gonna be filled with seafood. Obviously, I ordered a ton of seafood, and the best part yet, you guys are gonna be able to witness a little bit of that seafood in the making. Chef Felicia, say hello. Hi, how are you? All right, so we ordered a couple of things today, and what are we gonna have first? Seafood pasta. Are you a food salad? Yeah. A little salt, black pepper? Yeah. Garlic? Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Basil. basil! I love basil! Oh! That mahi mahi sea bass. Mahi mahi sea bass. And salmon. Oh, some cream. Oh, and some marinara. Pink sauce. Okay. Panna pasta. Oh! A little more basil. Oh, there we go. Add some color. Parsley. Parsley, okay. Oh, toasted garlic bread. To the plate. Here we go. More cheese. So it looks like we have moved on to the raw bar and we're going to try something new here. What are we, we going to do today? Uh, uni. Uni. When you're in Santa Barbara, like I said before, you need to try Santa Barbara's local uni and we're going to do that today. All right, chef, take it away. We got shucking going on whoa that is the golden gonads that you just have to try oh wow okay we got slices of blood orange and then here's the scallop i love this this looks kind of familiar to me Oh, so this is the soy you know, sauce I'm talking about, right? Yeah. With the lime? Yeah, bro. Oh. We're gonna take a bite together. Yeah, buddy. Let's do I this. Know. I got There you go. Let's all take a bite together. Santa about uni with some blood orange and scalp. Here we go, guys. Mmm. Oh my god. It didn't go wrong. It's so good. This. Always a winner in my books. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. Thank you guys you. are the best. Thank you. Grill mahi mahi. Okay, okay. So this here's the mahi mahi. Yeah. And then what is that? Is that olive oil? Yes, olive oil. Okay. A little black pepper. A little black pepper. A little salt. A little salt. Okay. Oh, that grill is so hot, guys. While the mahi mahi is getting grilled, Chef is gonna make some vegetable to pair with our mahi mahi dish oh yeah oh yeah yeah broccolini broccolini i love all these vegetables bam wow and boom Wow, okay, you topped that off with some rice. Here is our grilled mahi-mahi. Oh, perfectly cooked. It doesn't seem too dry. It looks very, very juicy. Pineapple sauce? Pineapple sauce. Yes. This. Pineapple. Chef. A little more okay. sauce. What kind of sauce is this? This is curry sauce. Okay, puree sauce. Yeah, that looks awesome. And that little lemon for garnish. All right, so one of the things that I got on the menu is called the lobster truffle mac and cheese. 
shallots. Shallots. Garlic. Garlic. Okay. Basil. Basil. Yep. Meat. Oh wow. And here comes the the good part. These are the lobster chunks. Mushroom. Okay, getting some umami flavors in here. Some cream to thicken things up. Now comes in the macaroni. Oh, there we go. We're gonna add some Gruyere cheese onto this lobster truffle mac and cheese. It's gonna thick things up. Look at that. Lobster truffle mac and cheese, ladies and gentlemen. Some garnish, breadcrumb. Yes, sir. Oh, and chives. Next up, we got some crab cakes. Oh, okay. Oh, two patties that goes into the pan. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ginger sauce. Yeah. Our crab cake is getting pan fried. That looks amazing. And just like that, it's gonna go onto this plate. Wow. That looks good. And then. The sauce is chipotle aioli. Chipotle aioli. Oh man, chef. Is that it? Yes, sir. That's all she wrote. I got the crash of the ocean waves on my left hand side. And of course, I got amazing, beautiful seafood right in front of me that we're about to devour. You guys got to get a sneak preview of what it looked like to make some of these dishes in the back and I hope you guys enjoyed that. But now, it's time to feast. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna go with first has to be the Santa Barbara uni. I'm gonna drill this into you guys over and over and over again because in Santa Barbara, you just have to try the Santa Barbara uni. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. So I have this uni right here in front of me. And basically, in every single uni, at least the Santa Barbara ones, you are going to have five different gonads. So we have five pieces of uni right here that is placed on top of fresh scallop and put over blood orange. Here we go. That is so balanced. That blood orange gives it nice citrus sweet flavor. The uni, the scallop, super fresh, super clean. You cannot go wrong. And the best part about it, I, could, I get to take that bite four more times because there are five pieces on this plate. Oh my gosh, okay. For my second bite, I do want to pour a little bit of this sauce on top and just look at that. Oh yeah. Here we go. That is so good. That soy sauce almost has like a, maybe like a little wasabi type of flavor in it. Um, but it just like adds another layer of flavor on top of a dish. That is already fantastic. I mean, it does not get any better than that. The crab cakes here, they basically put two pieces of gigantic crab cakes. They got some coleslaw on top, and obviously they have some chipotle aioli. Flavors are so fresh, and so I'm not complaining whatsoever about the size of these crab cakes. And that coleslaw has a nice acidic flavor. I've gotta go in for a second bite because it's that good. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. This is a seafood pasta. Look at how big this seafood pasta is. Oh my gosh. And inside the seafood pasta, you got a lot of things going on here, guys. Look at the big gigantic pieces of shrimp. There is scallop. There is salmon. Seafood pasta, guys. Wrong. That seafood pasta is amazing. My first bite, I got a little bit of that scallop. Scallop is done perfectly. Got a lot of great pasta on here. I think they call this penne pasta. Let's see how the pasta is. Mm. Yeah. Perfectly cooked. I'm really enjoying this one right here. This is another amazing dish. Now, 
I don't know if like my whole experience is getting enhanced because on the left hand side, I get to hear the waves crashing. It just enhances my overall seafood experience and every single dish, phenomenal. Phenomenal! Now I do want to just take a bite of this bread right here. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna kick things up a notch. I'm going to put some of this pasta on top of my bread right here, just like that. You see that? Let's do it, guys. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Yeah. That is fantastic. That is so, so good. Do exactly what I did. Don't eat the pasta separately from the bread. Put it together, make it really, really nice, and just take the seafood pasta to the next level. That is fantastic. Lobster, truffle, mac and cheese. I think the truffle that we have in here is black truffle, guys. And you can see the chef adding some Gruyere cheese to kind of thicken this up. And obviously on the top, we got some breadcrumbs. So there's gonna be some texture, there's gonna be some crunchiness in addition to that softness. So I haven't taken my first bite yet, but judging by how this looks, I think that's how it's gonna come out. Let's do it, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh. You just take an all-American dish, like the simple mac and cheese. You add lobster, you add truffle, you add Gruyere cheese, and you just like, it's not as rich as it sounds. Everything actually just tastes very, very well balanced. That Gruyere cheese, just like that, that Gruyere cheese. Amazing. Let's do this again. Mm -hmm. What I do taste the most out of this lobster truffle mac and cheese is actually the lobster. They are very, very generous with the lobster. This is the adult version of mac and cheese. If you guys have family, the kids are going to get the traditional mac and cheese. The adults, you got to take it to the next level. Oh, we're gonna get the lobster truffle mac and cheese. This, guys, is another must try. I order a grilled mahi-mahi. And take a look at this. This mahi-mahi is actually pretty big. Oh my gosh, take a look at how big this mahi-mahi is. They cook some grilled vegetables on the side. There's some broccolini, there's some squash, there's some carrots, there's some cauliflower. And then they also added a scoop of rice right here. And then they have some like lemon butter puree. That's what it looks like to me. And I obviously see some uh, seasoning, maybe some black pepper. Now on top of this mahi mahi, looks like to me they got some either pineapple or mango chunks. I'm gonna find out when I actually take a bite, but it actually looks like pineapple chunks. Actually, I think it is pineapple chunks. Well, not sure. Let's see uh, what my palate says, but here is a piece of the mahi-mahi. Guys, can you see that? All right, here we go. First bite. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa. That's fantastic. It's pineapple. This dish, this dish right here reminds me of Hawaii. I got the island flavors going on in my mouth. That mahi-mahi, Super moist. It falls off like. I, okay, I didn't even do much with my fork, and just like that, a piece of mahi mahi just falls off. Super, super moist and super, super clean. Well balanced flavors combined with this tropical pineapple flavors. This sends me to paradise. Mmm. Rice is cooked perfectly. That rice is a great filler, a great complement for the mahi mahi. And we also gotta get some vegetable into our system. Let's see how the vegetables are done. Mmm. A little crunchy on the vegetables. But really, really good. 
adds that crunchy texture. I'm loving it. This is also, in my opinion, a musket if you love fish. So, I guess for today, we got some sea urchin, we got some pasta, we got some scallop, we got some fish, we got some lobster mac and cheese, we got some crab cakes, and now we finish it off with a big piece of grilled mahi mahi filet. Guys, doesn't get any better than that. And just to say that, I'm actually dining here, literally on the beach, okay? T take a look at this right here. Look at that, okay? It doesn't get any better than that. The whole dining experience has been enhanced because of my proximity to the ocean. And I just feel like I am in paradise. So, guys, the next time you're here in Santa Barbara, be sure to check out Boat House because I think they are really, really offering one of the most amazing seafood dining experiences. All right, guys. As always, if you enjoy watching this video and want to be part of the like swap, be sure to smash that like button, give me a subscribe, and ring that liberty bell so you always get notified when I put up epic food videos like this. That's going to be a wrap for today's video. I will see you at the next meal.